Hey guys, what's up? It's Alex, and you're watching the ultimate guide to laser processing on Laser Everything. Today we're installing Lightburn on Windows 11. First thing we need to do is get Lightburn. So we're going to open your browser of choice. I'll be using Firefox, and we're going to navigate over to lightburnsoftware.com. That is the official website for Lightburn. And once the page loads up here, we will see a big button down here at the bottom that says download trial. So you don't need to pay to try this out. You get a 30 day free trial, which is awesome. So we'll give that a click and we can see our supported operating systems and a big button right here that says download for Windows. This will be perfect for Windows 11. We're downloading version 20.0.04 and we can see that right up here in our downloads on the browser or we can open up our downloads folder and launch it from there. Windows will ask us if we're sure we want to allow this app to make changes to the device and that's no problem. And then we can get rid of all these other windows. We're done with those. So here we are in the installer. It's going to ask us where we want to install it and we can hit next. Default's fine for this too. This is just the programs folder. Next. And we can create a desktop icon. It'll confirm the details with us for the installation. And then we will click install. And from there, it's going to take over the process of installing Lightburn for us. When we're done, there are a few things that we want to keep in mind. It's going to ask us if we want to install some drivers, and we need to do this now. So we're going to install both of these today. The FTDI serial driver is for DSP controllers, and the EasyCAD 2 driver is for for Galvo lasers that run EasyCAD 2. We are going to install both of these. Even if you don't have both of these lasers, having the driver isn't an issue and it can stop you from having problems down the line if you choose to get new laser types. So I will check both of them for now. Additionally, I do like unchecking Start Lightburn after we're finished just because it does crowd the screen a little bit and I wanna focus on the driver installs to make sure we don't have a problem before we're trying to launch Lightburn. After that, we will get another security prompt that'll ask us if we're sure we want to install the drivers and we do so we're going to click yes and same thing here guys we're just going to extract and run we'll accept the agreements we need to accept in order to get these installed and it'll just take a second there and we can see our FTDI drivers are installed so that's great and we're just going to repeat the process for the EasyCAD 2 drivers next let it install accept security prompts and there we go there's our BJ JCZ driver ready to use and we can hit finish with that done everything is installed and we can double click the light burn icon to launch it and once it starts up we will get a notice about our light burn trial i've previously deactivated the license on this computer so it's asking me to extend my trial but you will see a button that says start trial now which you can click and just okay through this we will talk about purchasing and activating licenses a little bit later on in the course here's the end user license agreement and we can just read through this quickly and accept and from here if you want to play around with Lightburn, you have to add a device. You can't run Lightburn without a device. So it gives you the option right here in this list. I don't have a device, create a dummy machine, or you can go back and create your own. So just to show you that, we can come back here to the device list and we'll click create manually. And we'll just pick the ghost icon here. It's just a no machine. It's a dummy machine that lets Lightburn think there's a machine, even if there isn't. If you want to customize it, like you know the dimensions of the laser that you have coming and you want to play around with it in advance, you can customize it that way. Then we'll hit OK, and here you are. You're in Lightburn 2.0.04 on Windows 11, and you're ready to get started with the rest of the course. Congratulations. I hope you guys have fun with it. We're going to cover a lot more coming up really, really soon. If you are installing Lightburn on another operating system, we are covering all of them, so keep an eye out for a follow-up for both Mac OS, Linux, and running Lightburn in VMs. That's all for this one, guys. If you want to support the channel, head over to masters.lasereverything.com. Thing.net, and you can find out ways you can support us over there so we can continue making this guide for you. Thank you so much for watching, and we will see you in the next one.